Good afternoon. We'll start with uh, two short statements by the Secretary General and the President, and then we'll have time for one or two questions. Secretary General. So, President, uh, warm welcome to NATO headquarters. It's a uh, uh, pleasure to meet you again. Uh, we last met uh, at the NATO summit in uh, Warsaw in uh, July uh, last year, and I also welcome uh, uh, our very constructive and interesting discussions we just had uh, in our uh, meeting. And I also welcome the partnership uh, that we have developed between NATO and Armenia over many years. That is good for uh, Armenia and it's good for uh, uh, NATO. And I also welcome that we, in our meeting, discussed how we can uh, uh, take that partnership uh, further uh, and uh, continue to strengthen uh, the cooperation between Armenia and uh, NATO. Uh, we have developed our partnership over many years. In fact, this year it is the 25th anniversary of you joining the North Atlantic Cooperation Council. It was a crucial time following the end of the Cold War. It proved to be the foundation of a partnership uh, and we have built on that partnership over many, many years. You attended the Warsaw uh, Summit uh, because uh, of um, uh, our, your country's important contribution to NATO's resolute support mission in Afghanistan. And I thank you very much for uh, Armenia's uh, presence and contributions uh, to NATO's uh, military presence in Afghanistan fighting uh, terrorism. Armenia uh, also contributes uh, forces to our K4 peacekeeping mission in uh, Kosovo, helping to keep uh, the Western uh, Balkans uh, stable. Armenian troops are helping to bring stability to those uh, countries, and uh, we are very grateful for your contributions. Helping to make the Euro-Atlantic area safer and more uh, secure. The NATO alliance uh, is committed to working with you as well as other partners. Because cooperation uh, between NATO and Armenia is in both our interests. Together, we are developing a new individual partnership action plan tailored to your needs and requirements. And I see opportunities uh, for us to cooperate more closely on interoperability, defense reform, and defense education. NATO and our allies have considerable expertise in defense and security sector reforms. Armenia can draw upon these resources. I also want to congratulate uh, you on your participation in the Building Integrity uh, Program to counter corruption in the armed forces. And your progress uh, on implementing the UN Security Council Resolution 1325 on women, peace, and security. These are important steps for all of us. We also discussed the Nagorno-Karabakh uh, conflict. I am concerned about the continuing uh, violence along the line of contact, including uh, this uh, weekend. It is important to avoid escalation because there is no military solution to this conflict, and its persistence is holding back the region. So we encourage both uh, Armenia and Azerbaijan to return to the negotiating table and to work towards a peaceful resolution to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. NATO fully supports the Minsk group process to that end. So thank you once again for coming here today, today, and thank you so much for our close partnership, which I think is good for Armenia and good for uh, NATO. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General. For me, it's a great honor to once again be here at the NATO headquarters and meet with you to discuss issues of mutual interest. This year is marking the 25th year of Armenia's cooperation with the North Atlantic Treaty. It was a quarter of a century ago in 1992 when newly independent Armenia acceded to North Atlantic 
Cooperation Council, laying the foundations for its partnership relations uh, with NATO. It is with satisfaction that I acknowledge through this quarter of a century, our cooperation and partnership has grown and been augmented with new content becoming one of the most important components of a multi-layered security system of uh, the Republic of Armenia. Armenian-NATO relations are based on clearly understood common interests and needs, and they have a pretty broad and rich agenda. It includes both a political dialogue at the highest of levels, as well as practical, many examples of practical cooperation. Together with the Secretary General, we ascribe importance to the to maintaining the current level of the political dialogue and uh, persistent, regular contacts. We also ascribe importance to the issues pertaining to the subsequent broadening and deepening of our partnership relations with NATO. We acknowledge that we have successfully implemented four IPAP. Uh, rounds and currently uh, the 2017-2019 already fifth round IPAP is soon to be approved. We particularly emphasize the soon to commence uh, trust fund Armenia and NATO and I also had the honor to invite the uh, Secretary General to visit Armenia which would provide a very good opportunity to summarize our progress over these 25 years and to chart the course for the future. Armenia continues to provide its important input to the collective efforts of establishing peace and security in the world, turning from a consumer of uh, security to a supplier of security. Armenia itself uh, faces serious challenges of security, but still contributes to maintaining uh, stability and uh, security elsewhere in the world, very well realizing the extent to which the world is interrelated nowadays. There are no more individual security challenges of states, they are common security challenges. It is with satisfaction that I acknowledge that as a result of Armenian-NATO cooperation, developing its uh, peacekeeping capacity, Armenia within the recent years expanded its geography in Kosovo and Afghanistan. Alongside uh, being involved in Kosovo and Afghanistan, our servicemen are also under the aegis of the UN participating in uh, missions in Lebanon and Mali. It is uh, with pleasure that I acknowledge that Armenia has been evaluated by the treaty members as an active NATO partner. Our servicemen in these missions have been assessed as well-prepared, disciplined, and responsible contributors. I'm certain that with the international experience and capacity acquired within the framework of peacekeeping missions shall be put to the best use by our servicemen in building our army. Of course, we reflected also on the most explosive security challenge of the region, the, the most recent developments around the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. In this context, I ascribe great importance to NATO's and personally Mr. Stoltenberg's assistance to the mediation mission and efforts of the Minsk Group co-chairman aiming at the peaceful resolution of the uh, Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Uh, thank you, Secretary General, for assisting us. I mean for assisting the Minsk Group. The April war and the regular uh, salvos of uh, heavy artillery in the wake thereof and the use of military uh, equipment come to prove that this conflict is in the active state and today more than ever it is important for the international community to join efforts around a civilized uh, solution supporting the OSE Minsk group efforts towards the peaceful regulation. We acknowledge that according to the partnership uh, uh, framework document of the partnership for peace, uh, the protection of uh, and strengthening of fundamental 
fundamental freedoms and human rights, freedom and justice, as well as establishing uh, peace through democracy are actual common values for the partnership. In conclusion of my speech, I would like to reaffirm the commitment of the Republic of Armenia to continue to form an active, positive agenda with the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and its member states to the benefit of strengthening international peace and security. I also express a hope that my next meeting with the uh, NATO leaders will take place in Yerevan. Thank you. Okay. Are there any questions, gentlemen of them? Thank you, Mr. Secretary General, Public TV of Armenia. It seems that uh, NATO's uh, advertence uh, to our partnership uh, had reduced in last period. Meetings and events with partner states became uh, more fewer. There is a view that NATO uh, had refined its partners and now is uh, deepening its relations only with so-called enhanced opportunity partners. In, if I'm not mistaken, partner states also are not invited to the upcoming summit. How would you comment? Does this mean that NATO is changing its approach toward partners? Thank you. For NATO, partnerships uh, are very important, and uh, that's exactly why we are uh, strengthening the partnership uh, with uh, Armenia. Uh, we have uh, we are in the process of uh, agreeing a new individual uh, uh, partnership program with uh, Armenia. And I think that uh, provides the best possible context and foundation for uh, more partnership activities uh, for NATO and, uh, and Armenia to implement uh, uh, together. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Armenia for contributing to many different NATO operations and, uh, and missions. Uh, uh, contributing to NATO's presence in Afghanistan, fighting terrorism, uh, contributing to NATO's presence in Kosovo, uh, helping to stabilize the Western uh, Balkans, uh, and uh, also um, uh, the fact that NATO has been helping uh, Armenia in different ways, implementing uh, reforms um, to modernize its uh, uh, defense uh, uh, institutions and defense education. And we also uh, work together on the program we call Build Integrity, which is about how to fight corruption uh, within the armed uh, forces and uh, train its forces by participating in NATO exercises. So just the fact that Armenian soldiers, um, troops, are participating in NATO exercises increases the interoperability, the, uh, the, the, the ability to work together in military operations. And we share knowledge, we learn from each other, and I think it increases the quality uh, of uh, our soldiers, both Armenia uh, and in uh, NATO. And uh, we also uh, work together in, uh, in uh, civil military uh, activities, like the uh, civil emergency uh, uh, response exercise, uh, which last year took uh, uh, an Armenian, uh, which, which Armenia participated in, uh, in, in last year. So there are many different activities where we work uh, together and we're looking into what more we can uh, do. Um, the summit uh, uh, in Warsaw, uh, Armenia was present there in July. Uh, uh, the meeting we, will have, we, we will, were going to have with heads of state and government in May is not the summit. That's a, a special meeting, which will be a very brief meeting. And the main purpose of that meeting will be to have uh, the new U.S. president uh, come to visit NATO. So we will not have any uh, partners, not, uh, not, uh, not enhanced opportunity partners or any partners participating in that meeting. But uh, 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 Armenia is invited to different NATO activities and they participated in our last uh, uh, ordinary summit in, in, in Warsaw. Okay, one second question. President, uh, I address this question to you. You refer to Armenian NATO relations and the broad agenda thereof. Could you please tell us to what extent is that compatible with uh, Armenia's membership in other security structures and the commitments uh, assumed uh, therein? 
as time and practice have demonstrated, the, these uh, dimensions are fully compatible. In our region, there are many players, and we are attempting in every circumstance to find the cooperation possibilities to the benefit of our security. Over these 25 years, Armenia has never attempted to see or take advantage of any benefit in the conflict between those players. That would be a disastrous policy, if you want my opinion. And we got reassurances in the region as to how true these words of mine are. Of course, the CSTO and NATO pursue different objectives, but I reiterate that our practice has come to demonstrate that it is possible for a country in order to assure its security to find areas of cooperation with different and in different formats. Incidentally, let me tell you that when uh, we were negotiating with the EU and the issue was raised about our accession or membership in the Eurasian Economic Union, there was some concern expressed within the EU about this. We always refer to the example of NATO, stating that being a founding member of the CSTO, we have cooperated for a quarter of a century with NATO, and nothing bad has happened in this context. So I think this is a good example, and we'll continue with this policy. Thank you very much. Thank okay, you so thank much. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.